So welcome new families. Uh, this is Mark DeCanner, the Director of Academic Technology at Westminster School. And I am going to spend a minute uh, just uh, showing you how to navigate our course request process uh, using our online on-campus system. So if you're on our website, uh, the login button is on the top right. And that's going to bring you in to uh, the system. So here I am. I'm in as a new student. Uh, when you come in, this is the view you'll see. And again, uh, for new students, this is going to be where you'll be living uh, in terms of your academic uh, schedule once school starts in September. And for new students, your online orientation course materials are right here under classes. So this is your first class at Westminster, but this will soon be all of your classes. Uh, similarly, your advisory groups, your teams, and all of that will be here under your groups. Um, you'll have access to scoreboard and athletic news, uh, as well as other news here, and a calendar and so forth. And your uh, schedule, including your assignments and your daily schedule, will all be in this space. But this tab here is the one we're going to be looking at today, which is course requests. <coughs> Once you've logged in, I'm just going to draw your attention to uh, this top text, which basically uh, outlines our graduation requirements in different disciplines. Uh, they're pretty broad, but the specific ones in terms of English and math, science, history, uh, are all uh, located here, modern language, creative arts. Uh, and so forth. So again, this is the expectations for all students before they graduate. Um, so if you're coming from a different school as an older student, um, these, these graduation requirements do apply. Um, you will just have to have credits from your previous schools. So as you can see here, um, these are courses that have been selected. And you can see already you're enrolled in this one. There's the uh, an English course. Uh, here that has been selected and then recommended courses are down below. So if you take a look at uh, how this works, this is only two courses. So the other courses are going to have to be um, added uh, later. Now recommended courses should be appearing here from math and languages and as those appear um, we are able to uh, then just add them. So for instance let's say that this student wants to take global history as recommended. He would click on this little green button here and that recommended course would be moved up uh, from uh, recommended to selected. And you can remove it back. Okay, so again, there will be more recommended courses in this space. Now, let's say that uh, the student wants to take something that's not recommended. Uh, you can uh, enter something in a number of different ways. The different offerings are here on the left. Uh, so, for instance, let's say that the student wanted to take uh, AP Calculus. One thing that is going to be shown here is that some courses have um, certain requirements for uh, students to take first. So AB Calculus, uh, students are supposed to have taken pre-cal honors or pre-cal calc honors. Now our system doesn't know if you've already taken that at a different school. Um, so if you have and you do feel like you're, uh, you meet these requirements, then you can confirm and that will go into this spot. Okay, I'm going to remove that, but that is a possibility. Uh, similarly for other courses uh, that don't meet uh, age requirements. So again, uh, you may have to have taken U U.S. history in order to take AP comparative government. Uh, so you can click out of that space. Um, if you do not know what courses uh, you should be taking, uh, again, that is something that uh, you can look at our course uh, guide. It does have, by clicking here, more information about the course. Okay, uh, so for instance, the 20th century world history is the introductory history course for fourth formers. So you can get a little bit more information right here about each course before you make your selections. So that's it. Um, each student should have five academic courses uh, in this uh, place. Um, and arts classes as well uh, can fit into that. Um, sometimes with an arts class, people do take six. Um, and again, under here are our visual and performing arts uh, courses, which include uh, selections for chorale or concert band or dance. Um, and so people who want to do those should sign up for chorale, concert band, dance, ensemble. And if you're going to do a combination, those combinations are here as well, which you can sign up for. Um, 
Bill Sister is our director of studies, and he is somebody you can contact with questions. His phone number is 860-408-3003, his office number, and uh, you should feel free to contact him with any questions that you have. Uh, and I just wanted to show quickly that uh, parents are also able to make course requests uh, or see the course requests that their students have made. So as a parent, you're able to go in uh, in the same portal and as that parent identity, choose your child and then uh, make their, see the requests that your child has made. You cannot make them, uh, but you can see them. And again, you can explore the different options and help your child uh, make the the requests that are appropriate for them.